Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Sheltered 2 where last time we did a spot of shopping, or as near as we can get to shopping in the apocalypse I suppose, as we met the Black Roses faction and then took a bit of a shopping trip around the little town they've got control of over here, which was nice, that was quite fun, having a wander about, popping into all these buildings and just, you know, having a little bit of a look at what they had to offer. So I mean, you know, I mean some would call it looting, I say it's shopping, I would say we went for a nice little shopping trip over here and we picked up various bits of bobs, you know, a little bit of retail therapy for everybody, didn't do any harm at all. And of course that means that everyone has returned with all sorts of wonderful goodies, and also some slightly less than wonderful goodies that we can throw into the recycler, which is marvellous. So let's see what we can actually recycle. I do like using the recycler. I like getting out all of the different materials from various kind of terrible things over here. So let's have a look at what we can put into the recycler, and let's see what goodies we can get out. So okay, right here. So What's that? Six empty petrol cans. Right, we can get rid of those for starters. So that gets us quite a bit of plastic and a good amount of rubber. Okay, that's quite useful. Anything else going on down here? Anything else at all? Ah, right, here we go. So we're going to get loads of wood because we've got those logs that we can take apart. So that's six wood and six bark. And then we have all of these kind of crate things. So let's get rid of those. Four of those. Four splintered crates are very popular in this part of the world. So that gets our wood up to 30. 30 wood. That's going to be very, very useful. Okay, then we can take this apart, I think. So take apart that mineral ore. What does that get us? Six chunks of zinc. Okay, do we need that for anything? I'm not sure. Um, we've got three bits of silicon. I think we do need that to make circuit boards. And we've got three lots of magnesium which sounds very, very exciting and also possibly a little bit dangerous. But there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's what we can get from that bit of rock. And is there nothing else? Oh, okay. I am quite surprised. I mean, we have picked up some chains. But I seem to recall a few people in a video a long time ago in Shelter 2 now saying don't recycle the chains. You can keep them and use them for crafting things. So I think, yeah, we'll keep these chains. Is that it? Is that all we can put into the recycler? Oh, recycler, I'm so sorry. I built that up. I built that up quite considerably. And now there is not actually that much to recycle. Um, okay, do you know what? It's better than nothing. There you go. So you work on that. And I think everybody else has just arrived home, haven't they? Everyone else has come back. Oh, hang on. Hang on. The potatoes are dry. Hang on a second. Oh, crikey. All of our plants are dry. Everyone's come home. Barbara, I have issued a series of repair commands to because everything up on the surface is kind of looking a little bit sort of, you know, fall apart. -y. So the weather vane is kind of going to fall over a bit. And um, yeah, the oxygen filter, that's looking like it might sort of collapse any time now. So let's go and get Barbara to repair those. So right, we do need somebody to come down here and just put a little bit of tea onto the potatoes there. Who would like to do that? Oh look, everybody is completely and utterly exhausted. We're going to have people falling asleep on the floor again, aren't we? That's going to happen. Um, okay, Will, could you come down here and just water those plants, please? You can get yourself a drink because you are quite thirsty. So go and get a lovely cup of tea. It's lovely and fresh and hot. It's fine. Um, and then, yeah, go and yeah, put some uh, put some tea onto the potatoes. How is everyone else? Sharon is exhausted. Christopher's exhausted. Yeah, Ronald isn't because, of course, he stayed behind. And Betty is absolutely on her last legs. Look at that. She's going to fall over any second now. Okay, right, hang on. So all of our sort of expedition people are very, very tired and hungry and thirsty and smelly and everything. They did go out for quite a long time. Look at that, though. They're all gathering around here, having lots of tea. This is quite nice. Right, so are you going to go in the shower? No. I, oh, hang on a minute. Where are you going? Where are you going? I would have thought you would have gone to bed, possibly. Right, hang on. You go to bed and you go to bed because everybody is exhausted. I mean, ideally, we'd have four beds. We'd have four beds and then four people who've been on an expedition could come back and all sleep at the same time. But alas, we don't have that right now. Um, okay, right. So, Will, let's make sure you can do this. You're having a drink, Will. That's good. Thirst sorted. Now put some tea onto here, which is going to be very good indeed. What's Betty up to? Betty. Well, while you're there, Betty, could you repair that generator, please? I know you're exhausted and you've been out for ages. But if you could repair that, that would be amazing. Right, those two are having a sleep. So here we go. Right, now we are going to have to use up a little bit of water here, which is not ideal. Right, so Will, go and have a shower. And then Betty, when you're done, I think Betty might... Oh, Betty's going to collapse. Betty is just going to collapse, I think, in a doorway somewhere. She's washing her hands. 
but I think she's possibly going to fall over any second now. Hang on a minute, that would be bad. That would be bad. Right, Sharon, your sleep is not so bad anymore, so you can get out the bed, please. And Betty, can you make your way over to the bed? Please get up, Sharon, because Betty is going to fall over. There we go. Right, so Betty, into the bed, have a sleep. Can you make... Oh, no. <laughs> she, she hasn't quite made it to the bed. No, she's, she's kind of fallen asleep on the floor at the foot of the bed. <laughs> it looks like she's had a very heavy night out. <laughs> she's too tired to continue. Oh, dear. oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Have you washed your hands? They did go in there, didn't they? They did go in there, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming that they have washed their hands. I hope they have. If not, if not, Sharon, you might get a bit poorly. Um, but Will is okay. Although Will is also going to collapse. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, right, hang on. Um, you don't need to do that right now. So let's see if Will can actually... He can get through his meal, hopefully. Hopefully he's not going to end up face first in his stew. Because that would be bad. So here we go. Right, Will is sorted. Right, Will, come over here, please. <laughs> and have a sleep. Let's see if you can at least make it over there. So you've had some... He's <laughs> fallen over as well. And Sharon's got food poisoning. Well, this is all going absolutely fantastically well, isn't it? And Ronald's just standing there going, Right. Okay. <laughs> Ronald's getting into bed. All these exhausted people lying around on the floor. And Ronald just thinks, Do you know what? I could do with a bit of a nap. No, Ronald. No, you can't go there, I'm afraid. <laughs> you need to uh, You need to let all these other people have a bit of a sleep first. Um, I think. I mean, can we... Can we actually do anything to them? I don't think we can help them. I don't think we can help them at all. I think they just have to kind of wake up. Um, okay, right. Okay, so Sharon, continue your sleep over there, please. And Chris, you might as well carry on your sleep because everyone else has just decided to you know, collapse on the floor and such like. So yeah, they, they will have a sleep there. Probably not the comfiest of sleeps. I know right, Ronald's just straight back into the bed. <laughs> Ronald, really? And Barbara is up over on the surface doing lots of lovely hard work fixing things, as Barbara does, because she's brilliant. Ah, hang on a second, of course, yeah, Sharon's got food poisoning. So a sunny day coming up, sunny day tomorrow, but then rain the day after. We have 30 water remaining, which is not very much at all. Um, Okay, we could do, possibly, with some people going out. Oh, Betty's up. Betty is up and some of the plants are ready to harvest. Um, which ones? Hang on, normally a little thing appears above them. Is it those? It's the potatoes. Okay, Betty, <laughs> while you're waiting for the shower, could you go and harvest some potatoes, please? And how are we looking up on the surface? The rice is growing quite slowly. The broccoli is also growing slowly. And yeah, that is as well. Of course, yeah, because the temperatures are going to be a little bit all over the place. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Right, everyone's keeping busy. It looks like everyone is now sort of at least back on their feet. They've had a bit of a collapse, but now they're back up on their feet again, which is very good. Um, Okay, right, this is splendid. Right, Betty, you need to go and have a shower because even the game is saying that uh, you smell bad. <laughs> even the game is saying that. So how about you take a shower with some soap, Betty? You go and treat yourself. Oh, hang on. After you've done your job over here, get a load of potatoes. There you go. So now you've got muddy hands. And now you can go over to here, have a shower, wash that off with some soap. And, you know, have a lovely, long, luxurious shower. You treat yourself, Betty. Oh, attackers incoming. Oh, hang on a second. The church are coming for us, are they? What, attacking us here? At the bunker? Or somewhere else? Hang on a second. Hang on. Now I don't know what's going on. Um, we can request uh, recruits or traders. I was going to look at the map. I was going to look at the map, but I assume that they are coming here. I assume they're attacking us here. Okay, okay. Everyone's sort of, everyone's leapt out of bed. I think everyone is ready. And Barbara, I think, has abandoned her sort of repairing duties. I think, I think she has. Hang on. Or did you finish everything? Um, I can't click on Barbara for some reason. Okay, All right. Barbara, get back in, please. You need to get back in and shut the door behind you. And remember to lock it. Remember to lock the door. Oh, the church going to come and cut the door open. That's all very inconvenient. Barbara does need the loo. So, Barbara, while everybody gets ready for this, you just you know, nipped the toilet. Right. Where are the church? There they are. There they are, sneaking in like kind of Scooby-Doo baddies. <laughs> They're kind of on their tiptoes. Right. Okay. How does this work, then? I can't quite recall how this works. We need to kind of go up here, don't we? We need to go up here and interact with them, I think. And then we can go and have a fight with them. 
The only thing is I can't quite recall. Yeah, how do we move people around again? Oh no, not like that. Um, somebody I think did say in the comments, because I was saying you can't sort of right click and say, go over here. We can't sort of tell them to go to walk to a different bit of the shelter. I'm pretty sure somebody did say there was a way that you could do it. Was it control click? Oh no, but control brings up quite a useful thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you press control and it tells you the condition of everything. Well, my goodness, oh, the fan's gonna fall apart. Hang on a minute, hang on, Barbara. You're not overly good at fighting. Go and fix the fan, please. That's very important. Oh, that's really handy. Well, there we go. We've learned a new exciting thing today. Right, go and repair that. And then she can go and repair the heater thing. Um, okay, so clearly that doesn't let people move about. Um, is it alt click, possibly? Alt click? No, not that. Um, okay, right, hang on. Let me just jab enough buttons and I'll see if I can figure out how to make them sort of, you know, just walk about the shelter a bit. Oh, there we go. Right, I figured it out by just bumbling around and pressing lots of buttons. You double click. So you select the character and then you double click where you want them to go and then they get a walk action thing. Okay, right, so let's get everybody up here because I'm not quite sure how this works. I think maybe, I mean, I don't want to get the situation where let's say we put Will on this floor and it's only Will that can do the fighting. So let's get our four regular fighty people. Oh no, Sharon is not very well. Ronald, Ronald, you might have to step up and do a bit of fighting, my good sir. Okay, so everybody else just, you know, go and do other stuff. Sharon, go into the shower, please. I know there's going to be fighting going on, but you are not well. So here we go. Barbara's going down here to fix things. Sharon's going to pop into the shower. Everybody else can just wait around here. Why did they all get very sad? Why did they all just get completely miserable just then? Hang on, mood. Um, it's cold. They're in the dark. Oh, I mean, you are standing under a light, Ronald, but okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. Is he still complaining that he's in the dark? <laughs> because I, I disagree, Ronald. There's a light there. I can see it very clearly shining on your face, but okie doke, fine. Right, so here we go. All four of you can stand here. And I think what we need to do is we need to sort of walk past them, don't we? And when they come in, they're going to knock our door down. Can't we just tell them to go away? Just say, excuse me, clear off church people. No, now they're going to kick the door down. Do you know how long it's going to take us to fix that, you pesky people? Okay, hey guys, we're just going to uh, have a bit of a fight with you here. So can we pick anybody? Oh yeah, we can pick anybody, so it doesn't matter who's on what floor. We just summon people into the bunker. Um, do you know what? Let's get all four people. Let's get four people fighting. Let's get the regular team that does the fighting. So Betty and over at the back, Sharon. Yep, okie doke, there we go. Right, let's give them all their things. Okay, there we go, everybody's got their weapons. These two at the front also have the stab-proof vest things, and we've got some med supplies and a few bullets for Betty. Okay, I think we're okay. Encounter in shelter. I mean, how dare they come in and cause this trouble? It's only one person. I thought there were two of them. I thought there were two. However, however, he's been disarmed. Will there has been disarmed. That's quite interesting. I don't know if that was a thing. Okay, right. So, Betty, switch target back to this chappy. Uh, right, you are going to aim at this chappy's head, and you are going to use Crush, Win, Pipe, and you've missed. But you know what? You've got this skill you know, absolutely down now, so you can give it another go. And critical. A critical windpipe hit. That sounds very painful. And now, how much does it cost to actually shoot? One single shot. Yeah, you can do this. Do you know what? Take a shot. Why not? Boom. Ow. Okay, that hurt them quite a bit. And I think that is Betty done. So Betty's finished. Right, Will doesn't have a weapon anymore because he has been disarmed. So how about, Will, you use your other attacks? I think, I think, yeah, you can kick and you can break legs and such like. Hang on, can we break their arm? Um, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's got to, that's got to cause them some problems. So here we go. Let's see if you can break their arm. A critical hit. They took damage, but they didn't actually get a broken arm. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's go for, let's go for their head, shall we? Now, what skills do you have? Poison punch, slight of hand. Do you know what? No, just a straight out, hit them across the head with a baseball bat attack and... Okay, or not, or don't do that then. Fine, don't do that. You can't do anything else. Botherations. Uh, and then Sharon at the back. Um, body, just stabby stab. Just do a stabby stab. You've got a stabby knife. Critical. Oh, they're not well, are they? They are not well. Okay, you've got three left. Can you do it again? Oh, you can do another melee. And stabity stab. Yeah, they're, they're really not well. They're bleeding. They're dazed. They've been poked in the windpipe. They're having a generally bad time of it. 
they are probably thinking, why did I attack this bunker on my own? Or they might be thinking, where's where's Alan? He came in here with us. <laughs> Where did Alan go? And like, Alan's in the doorway going, yeah, I'm just going to... I've left the gas on. I've got, I've got to go. Sorry. Sorry, Gerald. I'm off. Bye-bye. And then he just runs out the door. I don't know, but... Okay. So it's... Oh, hang on. That was Betty's turn. Oh, bother. I just skipped Betty's turn. Never mind. Um, Right. Will, go for... Go for the arm and do your kick again. Um, oh, no, you can't. You can't do that. Uh, okay, right. Go for the body and just melee attack them. Just go and do some punching. There you go. Punchy, punchy. Splendid stuff. Can you do it again? No. Okay, end that turn. I think your number's up, I'm afraid. Random church member. But do you know what? We'll, we'll, you know, we'll keep going. And boom, and dead. Their fear is cured. But you know, now they're a bit dead. Okay, splendid stuff. There we go. They are very much out for the count. Look at that, though. Look at that. Seven, seven, nine, six, eight, six. Yeah, they're very good. They are very, very good. Oh, crikey. Okay, right. They're getting a little bit scary. Oh, hang on. Right, so we have to do two fights because now the other church members come in. Okay, so <laughs> so, so Gerald is here, or Alan, or whichever way around it was. The other one is here. And he's just seen his friend get completely annihilated by everybody. And now he's coming in for a fight. Okay. I feel like this is ill-advised, but right you are. I mean, why don't we... Why don't we put, I don't know, say Barbara and co in the back? Because Will, Will there's a bit injured. However, it looks like they have just walked into Will. So Will is actually enforced in combat. I can't change Will. He hasn't got the little arrows. Ah, bother. Okay. Well, let's have Chris and let's have Betty... And let's have Barbara. Let's just put Barbara at the back and see if she can help out a bit. Um, right, okay. Well, let's kit everyone out again. Oh, look at that. Barbara has got up to strength six. So while everyone else has been out, you know, gallivanting around the place, doing missions, exploring, doing all that kind of stuff, Barbara has been, you know, busy running around repairing things and building stuff. But also, she's been putting the work in on getting her strength up. She's been hitting that punch bag very, very hard, and she's now up to strength six. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a baseball bat for her to have. But you know what? You can have a stabby knife, Barbara. I think that will do the job. Right, and these two, just let's give them those because they're on the front line. Okie doke, right. Here we go. I think we're ready again. I mean, I kind of feel like it might have been better if you two attacked at the same time, but right you are. Right, so... Oh, crikey. Right, so now Chris has lost his weapon. However... Will has not. Um, okay, maybe then, Will, let's try and break their arm. Let's just kick and see if we can break their arm. And yes, we've broken their arm. Okay, so I imagine that must have some effect on their melee capabilities. If their arm is broken, it's going to hurt a bit, I would imagine. Right, okay, and Betty can do the old crush windpipe because that's really good. And there we go. They're dazed. So they're now going to miss their next go, I think. So here we go. So we'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, I don't know, do we even need to shoot them? Is that a waste of ammo? Because I think everyone else can deal with it. Let's throw a rock at them. I don't know, Betty can just lob a rock. 17 points of damage. Very good, Betty. Well done. Conserving ammo. Um, right, okay. Yep, absolutely. Stabby stab. And, oh no, punchy punch, of course. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Go for their head. Go for the head and see if you can melee them in the head. And boom. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was some punch. That was a proper haymaker. I don't know. That's something to do with punching, isn't it? I don't really know. But whatever the case, that person is absolutely out cold. Uh, we can't take them prisoner because we still have no holding cell. And they were very good as well. They were very good. Maybe not quite as good as the first person, but they were still pretty good. Okay. There we go. Right. You two. <laughs> Clear off, please. So one's dead. Um, oh, that means we need another grave. Oh, hang on. They've both died. Okay. Uh, member Church of Hope died in combat. Member Church of Hope has died. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, and Chris is looking... Chris is looking a little bit... A little bit sad. Is it because there's a couple of dead bodies right there, Chris? Is that the problem? Um, recently killed someone. I mean, yes, that is a terrible thing. But they were trying to kill you. So, yeah, I suppose it would be it would be a difficult thing, wouldn't it? Right, we need somebody to um, go and dig some uh, dig some graves, please. Barbara, I, I'm so sorry for asking you to do everything, Barbara, but everyone else has been kind of fighting. I know, but you just fought then. Hang on a second. Who else can we get to dig a grave? It's not Barbara's turn. No, here we go. Sharon. Sharon, go and dig a couple of graves over there, please, dearie me. Right, craft an object. A poor grave. 
Oh, we just acquired a load of wood. I'm going to use it on graves. It's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Um, okay, invalid placement. How how much room does a grave need? Crikey. It's, okay, pop one just there. And, okay. And Ronald, can you build a grave as well, please? Here we go. It says one there. And we'll put one there. Okay, so a slightly morbid corner of the uh, of the keepers of the tea sort of you know front you know, whatever it is yard front garden whatever. But yeah, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Okay, right. So here we go. You dig that, and who else is coming over here to do this? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sharon, are you ill? She's sort of limping. She's taking a long time. Oh, she's still got food poisoning. She's still got food poisoning. I'm sorry. I thought that had gone away. I thought that had gone away. Oh, there you go. She no longer has food poisoning. Hurrah. Right. Okay. Can we please bury these corpses? Um, yeah. Let's bury that one, please. So she can go and do that. That'll be wonderful. Other people are just having a sleep. There we go. And, um, and Ronald, you can go and get the other one, please. Can we get the other one? Um, hang on. Why can't we... Why can't we right click on this corpse? <laughs> I don't really want this corpse here. Maybe we can only have one berry action going on at a time. Maybe this one needs to be done first before we can do the next one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, fine. Somebody else go and do that. Oh, who's that? Betty and Will having a chat about, uh, I don't know, gambling, possibly. Having a chat about gambling. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Never bet your tea, though. That'd be silly. Right, and here we go. You can do that. Take that body up there and splendid stuff. Right, there the, uh, the corpses are out of the way. It's a bit of a lingering smell over there, but I think... Hang on a second, hang on. Do we need somebody, somebody whose name might be Ronald, to uh, give the place a bit of a clean? Because the shelter hasn't been cleaned in a while. And I think that might help out a bit. So, right, you go and do that. Will, can you go and fix that, please, before it falls apart? Very good stuff. Yeah, I think we... um Did we distract Barbara? in the middle of her sort of important repair jobs. I think that might have happened. Okay, there we go. Right, so we've got Ronald cleaning up. Everyone else is sort of chilling out over here. I've just noticed that possibly, oh no. Okay, we need some water up here. We need to put some tea on the plants so or they're gonna die. Yep, soil condition dry and soil condition dry. This is not ideal. This is not ideal at all. Okay, fine. So we're gonna have to use three of our units of tea on the plants up here. Yeah, that is uh, that is not good, is it? Okay, fine. You go and do that then. There we go. Oh, it's tumbling. It's tumbling down. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking a bit bleak now, isn't it? That's not looking good. Oh, yes. It's been pointed out that we picked up some blueprints, apparently. We've picked up some blueprints whilst we were out and about. Um, yeah, thank you to the people in the comment section who've pointed this out because I was completely oblivious to this. But okay, what do we have? An efficient planter blueprint. A blueprint which details how to create an efficient planter. Okay, that sounds amazing. Is that now a thing that's done? Okay, yes. And a flashbang proximity mine blueprint. Okay, that sounds a little bit fighty. And a medical bed blueprint. Oh, okay, right. Hang on a second. Hang on. I am interested in all of these things. Um, okay. Oh, hang on. A festive tree? Oh no. Oh don't oh don't tell me you've put Christmas things in. They've put Christmas things in. Oh no. I'm gonna have to put a Christmas tree into the bunker, aren't I? Um okay, hang on. Where are these things that we just unlocked? Where are they? Because if there's a medical bed or whatever, then I wouldn't mind making a medical bed, but I'm not entirely sure where they are. So there's a medical bed and a flashbang something or other, and an efficient planter which would be very handy. However, where are those things? I'm not entirely sure. Do you know, I have no idea. I don't know where they are. I mean, I accept that we just kind of did something blueprinty with them and that was quite good, but I don't actually know where those things now are in here, unless they're all tier four things. If they're all tier four things, that would be a little bit unfortunate, wouldn't it? Because we haven't even met the people that we need to wipe out our ally with in order to get to the tier four crafting stuff. So that would be unfortunate if we just got some exciting new blueprints and then we just can't use them. That's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Um, okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I can't find where they are. I can't find where they are. They're not going to be in here because these are smaller sorts of things. I don't think they're going to be in here. No, so these are kind of your items rather than structures that you can create. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I do not know. Unless we need to do something with them. Does somebody need to go up and... Ah, no. She's adding them. She's adding them to the table. Okay, right. She has to actually go and do some stuff. Oh, I see. I do apologize. Hang on a minute. You go and repair that. Okay. Efficient planter has been added. And the proximity thing, which I'm not that bothered about. So efficient planter. And hang on. Hang on. Put the next one on. Put the next one. Efficient planter and something else. Oh, Sharon's fixed a convection heater. That's very good, Sharon. What was the other thing? So an efficient planter. Is there something in here that we've now unlocked? That kind of looks the same. Um, there's something, there's definitely something here. Ah, oh, there we go. Flashbang proximity mine. Okay, looks a little bit kind of futuristic -y, but right you are. We can't make one anyway right now. Um, and then in here, yeah, there's two more things in here. There's the medical bed. Okay, medical bed. That could be quite good. Have a little sort of temporary sort of infirmary type thing. And then an efficient planter. Is that it there? Yes. An upgraded planter with grow bulbs and a simple irrigation system capable of growing seeds which need to be grown indoors. Okay, so why is it efficient? Why is it efficient? Does it produce more food for the same seeds, possibly? I do not know. Okay, that's very interesting. I am quite interested in that. We do need quite a bit of stuff, but I think we could make that. However, I would like to get in the efficient toilet and the efficient shower. I think they would be good things to invest in. Because, yeah, they're going to use less water. That's going to use two water per use, the efficient toilet. And the shower, I imagine, is going to use less water as well. Because you know, it's efficient. So it would not be a bad thing to get those in. It would not be a bad thing. Now, I noticed down here we can track the recipe. So if we right-click that. So we flagged, yeah, hinges and pipes. And chains possibly there and let's flag that as well okay that's interesting so now what does that do over here does that then flag things up ah yes it's saying we need some more hinges and we need some more pipes oh okay that's very good i mean let's make hang on a second hang on <laughs> i've confused things um go back out of that let's make an efficient toilet first so let's go back to no go back to there so what do we need for that we need uh, we need some hinges. Okay, so get one of those. Is that all we can do? Ah, a lack of nails. Botherations. Okay, make a couple of... Make three sort of units of nails. Okay, Barbara, you go and do that, please. That'll be wonderful. But there we go. Right, thank you, commenting people, for, uh, yes, pointing out that we had picked up those blueprints because I was completely oblivious. I don't know when that happened. When did we pick up blueprints? I've got no idea, but do you know what? We obviously did. So there you go. Thank you, commenting people. Well done. I'm glad you're at least on the ball because I most definitely am not. I think it might be time to do the rounds with skills. And I think, yeah, William here has got some skills. So he's got, uh, he's got, oh, crikey, he's got a lot to go through. Strength, dexterity, and fortitude. Oh, that's just showing off. Okay, well, let's give you another point in kick because that seems quite good. You're quite good at that. So you go around kicking people. Dexterity wise, yeah, you're gonna have. Oh no, you've got that maxed out. You've got that maxed out. Okay, well, how about then we make you very good with bladed weapons? So I must remember to give Will a bladed weapon. And then over in Fortitude, we're back over here again. Um, okay, right, I can't quite recall all of these. So let me have a quick look through these and just see which is the best one for Will. Maybe, given that he's got two stars already in Shake It Off, let's get that up to three. So he is 75% less likely to be dazed. That's got to be quite good. So, okay, we'll have that for Will. Has anybody else got levels? Sharon, you've got a level in dexterity. So here we go. I mean, yeah, Sharon is also very good at bladed weapons. What's she got here? Flick sand. Okay. We could do that because, yeah, that might, that might impair the vision of a target. And, yeah, that means it causes a bit more damage, but it costs less stamina. So we're more likely to be able to do that with something else. Do you know what? Yes, please. We'll have a bit of that. Anybody else? Chris. Okay, Chris, what have you got? Dexterity and fortitude. Um, okay, let's give you the fast reflexes thing as well, because that would be handy if we could just do an immediate counterattack. And then fortitude. I mean, what have you got there? Iron stomach. That's to do with food poisoning. Not so bothered about that. I quite like this. The fact that they might not be dazed. So the enemy could go, haha, we're going to daze you. And all our people just go, no, you're not. Yeah, let's get that. I like the idea of that. Any more for any more. Right, Ronald has not. 
Ronald is very, very hungry, but he's too busy tidying, so Ronald hasn't levelled up. Betty, of course, has levelled up. Of course she has. Right, here we go. Now, what do we give Betty? I think let's give Betty a fancy tier two thing. Um, let's give her... I mean, I wouldn't mind giving her set bone, but I think... I think should Betty be all out kind of fighting shoulder barge or maybe a headbutt? Just Betty could just run up and just headbutt people. That seems like a very sort of Betty thing to do. No nonsense. No polite, just, you know, just a straight up headbutt. Yep, okay, Betty can have a bit of headbutt. And Barbara has not leveled up. Okay, right, there we go. I think that's all the level up sorted. Now, what I would like to do with our regular sort of travelling party, I would like to go hunting because we could pick up some you know, useful meat supplies, which we can then turn into lots of food. But yeah, this, there's a bit here, wasn't there? Yeah, that space there apparently was really good for, really good for hunting. So I think that could be quite good. However, a few people in the comments did say, oh, I'm surprised you've not gone down here, down to the outpost over here, to have a fight with, um, with the church, because they're already under attack by whatever they were called. The New Order, was it? Was that what they were called? The star on the flag people, those guys. So, I mean, we could, we could possibly go and help them out as well and deal another blow to the church. But then hunting over here, we could go and get a load of meat, which we could then use to make lots of proper lovely food. And that'll keep us going for ages. So, I mean, we do need to go on a trip out anyway, because we're using up all the water while we're back at base. And that's running out. So we do need to go out anyway. So either we go hunting or we go over here and do a bit of fighting. Or maybe we go and do a bit of fighting and then on the way back, go and do some hunting. How about we do that? Should we do that? Okay, right, hang on. Is that a terrible idea? Do you know what? I think let's go for it. We don't like the church and they just tried to attack us and we did pretty well against them. So how about we go and have another fight with the church and we help out these people here? I mean, we've never even met the New Order before. We don't know anything about them, but hopefully if our first sort of interaction with them is us charging in and helping them out in their fight against the church, that's got to be a good thing. That's got to, you know, it's got to leave a good impression. So how about we get everybody ready to go and have a fight. So, Will, I think you just need a bit of food and you will be ready. Okay, how are you for potatoes, Will? <laughs> Do you like potatoes? Oh, you've got some soup. That's fine. You go and have that. Um, Sharon needs food and a shower. Oh, no, that's going to use precious water. Okay, have a shower, Sharon, if you must. Open the pantry and, um, yeah, you can have some soup as well. Um, the pantry is looking... That little pantry is looking very full. Oh, I forgot to put a medical thing. Is our medical stuff... Oh, right, hang on. Yeah, we need to do that at some point as well. Hang on a second, hang on. We can't take any of that. Yeah, because we haven't got a big enough medical box thing. Right, we must remember to do that at some point. Right, Chris just needs a bite to eat. Guess what, Chris? It's soup. It's soup for dinner again. Um, and Betty, where are you? Betty needs the loo. Okay, that's fine. You know, go before you go, as it were. Go to the loo before you go out. So use the loo, and then you also need a spot of food. So you can also, I mean, do we spoil Betty with some meat stew? How hungry are you, Betty? You're not that hungry. You're not that hungry. A tin of lovely soup will do the job. Okay, that's good. And Barbara, Barbara, can we please build a slightly bigger medical cabinet thing? That would be really, really handy if we could do that. That'd be super useful. So can we craft, I mean, is there one in here? I'm pretty sure there's one in here, a big medical cabinet there it is that requires oh that requires all sorts of exotic things fancy metal and fancy glass and fancy hinges that we just don't have um that's just a locker that's ah there what's that medium medicine cabinet okay couple of hinges yeah that'll do the job quite nicely okay can we please go and make a couple of hinges please there we go so barbara can get on with that Everyone else can get on with what they want to do. That notification is still at the top of the screen. <laughs> that was ages ago, game. Come on, we've moved on since then. Um, okay, move time on nice and quick. And Ronald, you can stop cleaning up. You can stop cleaning now. The broom has vanished out of your hands. It's all fine, Ronald. Uh, and hang on a second. Can we now... Now you've crafted those things. Can we now make this thing here? Yes, we can. A medium medicine cabinet. We've got wood. We've got hinges. I mean, this can very handily go on a wall. So it can just go pretty much anywhere. Let's put it... 
Oh, I probably can't go above the table, which I thought would be quite handy, but never mind. Um, can it go above the treadmill? How about there? It can go above the, the T. Let's pop that there. There we go. And then we'll go and grab our stuff that's currently lying outside in the junk pile. Because we don't really want them to not have that. Right, so people are eating. I think everybody should be ready to go. Yes. Oh, Will might need a bit of a shower. <laughs> Oh, we'll hurry up, all right? We've not got much water left. We've got to wait an entire day. So you go and take a shower, Will. In you go. Have a quick scrub. And now everybody is ready to go. Okay, right, here we go. Uh, set up expedition. Let's get everybody set up. And we shall go and have a fight with the church and hope it all goes very well. Right, there we go. So the only differences are that Will has been given a stabby knife because as we saw, he's quite good at using the stabby knives. He's very proficient with those. I couldn't recall if Christopher was good at stabby knives or not. So I'm not entirely sure. So he's got a baseball bat. He can go for, you know, sort of brute force. Will can go for stabby. Um, Betty is carrying this thing here, this camping gear. We picked this up from somewhere last time. Was it a little sort of shopping trip around the town? I can't recall. But uh, yeah, that says, when equipped, reduces how much tiredness parties return to the shelter with by 25%. So it says parties. So I assume only one person needs this. So it's a proper, I don't know, tent and camping gear and everything else. So one person needs that. And that means that they're all going to come back slightly less tired, which is very handy indeed. Okay, so that's good. Now, I did just think, have we got enough rations? Yes, we have. Okay, right. So pop down here. Pop down here. Visiting outposts. Yes, we kind of know about this. The control points of a map region. Yeah, we know that. They can be attacked. Yes, you can trade. You can also request emergency food rations to stave off getting weak while traveling. We don't need that. We're going to go and help have a bit of a fight, I think. Although, what are those things there telling us? There might be encounters on those particular spaces. Okay, we'll have to see. We will have to see. Yeah, the route is dangerous. Yes, we're aware of this. <laughs> That's fine. That's to be expected. Take all of the rations because you might then go and do some hunting as well. Yeah, okay, right. Party is ready to leave. Party can leave. There you go. Will's got his school bag on his back. <laughs> He's off to school. Ah, oh, big day, big day. Last, uh, your know, first day in your last year, Will. Have fun. But there we go. Right, let's get everybody out. And a trader has arrived. Okay. Um, Barbara, let's go and have a chat with Joanne the trader. Oh, and Joanne the trader is the kind of trader that we like. She's got lots of lovely junk items. Okay. Right, let's go through all the junk items that Joanne has and see which ones we're going to get and throw into the recycler. Okay, that's what we're going to go for. Just a lovely random assortment of junk items to the value of 192.75 trade points or whatever. And I was looking at what we could have. So I've ordered our stuff by trade value. And I've noticed that these two things here, the camouflage gear, comes up at the top. Now, we don't really need that anymore. Not really. It says there, having camouflage equipped to an expedition party will reduce their chances of encountering other people by 25%. But of course, our people have all got that Mission of Mercy skill, which means they're not going to be bothered by other factions. Now, they might get bothered by other people, by other survivors or whatever, but generally, we've seen so far that the other survivors are sort of on their own, and we can certainly take them on. They're not too much of a bother. Like, the factions are kind of troublesome. The single sort of, you know, the survivors out there are not so bad. So I think, I think we just get rid of two of those and just get a load of stuff. Actually, actually... Maybe we trade some other stuff away, like this lovely coal. There we go. Hang on. So we can do one of those, a bit of coal. Would you like a lens? Can I interest you in a lens? 86% chance of trading just for some camouflage gear, some coal, and a very, very lovely, shiny, well-polished lens. Um, Let's give it a go. 86%. And there we go. Okay. Wonderful stuff. Right. Hang on a second. Hang on. We didn't collect the items before. So take all that stuff. Thank you very much. How are we doing down here? That cabinet is now done. So now let's go over to here and take... Um, oh, hang on. No, in there. In there. Oh, crikey. Hang on. Not medicine cabinet one, then. Put it into medicine... Yeah, medium medicine cabinet. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so now the junk pile is empty. And I must remember that that's how that works in the future. And now let's chuck more stuff into here and we should now have a lot of stuff in it there we go pans 108 metal shavings we can make so many exciting things um let's get rid of that junk that's really good look at that lovely nails and springs We've got so many springs we have quite a lot of springs actually 
Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. That clothing stuff. Um, the Songa Mega Station. You know, it's sad to throw it into the recycler, but there we go. Um, and radios and microwaves. Oh, that was wonderful. Look at all the exciting stuff we're getting out of that. Okay, okay, right. That will do, I think. I don't think there's anything else that we can put in there right now. So, yeah. Okay, right. So, recycle that recycler. And everyone else, yeah, just sort of make your way over to the... Um, make your way over to the Church of Hope outpost. And let's see what happens. And also, we do need a spot of rain tomorrow. So, that'll be wonderful. Can we... can we upgrade this? Can we upgrade the efficiency of that? What do we need? We need... oh, crikey. Yeah, we need a lot of stuff that we just do not have. We do not have any of that stuff at all. That means it breaks down a bit slower, and that means it doesn't fall apart quite as readily in um, in sandstorms. Okay, okay, we're going to need a lot of things to upgrade it further. And you know what? Let's use our fancy newly acquired knowledge to look at what's actually falling apart. Right, the water purifier. Barbara, please go and repair that. And, um, and Ronald, you can come over here. You can mend the fan. Because the fan often breaks down because it's always in use. It's always in use as the fan. And the planter is looking a little bit worse for her as well. So there we go. This is really handy. This is really handy. Just holding down control shows all this. How are we looking up on the surface? It's looking okay on the surface, actually. That's not too bad. Okay, right. Well done, everybody. Right, I mean, now you've done that, Ronald. Yeah, oh no, hang on. You're coming down here to the planter. That's fine. We could do with building some extra room bits over here. That'd be really handy if we could do that. So if you fix that, please. Right, Ronald. Show me your stats for a second. How about you do some strength training, Ronald? There we go. You go over there and do some exercise. And Barbara, I don't think there's anything you need to craft particularly. Unless... Oh, hang on. Yeah, when the recycler's done, when that's done, you can possibly look at uh, getting the materials we need to get a fancy toilet in. But yeah, right now it's okay. Right, Barbara, at the moment, can you go and do some exercise uh, on that, please. Yeah, you go and do some running on the treadmill. And there we go. Ronald has indeed leveled up. He's got a point of strength. Um, let's give let's give Ronald the final point in inherent strength. That's what we're going to do with Ronald. We're going to make him very good at getting sort of strength points from all the sort of strength related exercise things. So yeah, okay. There you go, Ronald. You enjoy. Now I think can you still use that? Yes, you can. Okay, go back and use that. You should be even more effective at it now. Some of our plants are ready to harvest. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Where? Which ones? Which ones? The... what's that? The broccoli. Okay, right. Go and harvest that. And that's ready as well. Okay, this is very good. And... oh no. Okay. The expedition party have encountered other survivors. Of course, because it can't be other faction people, because they're not going to bother us. Um, hello, you two. Hello, Deborah. You've got a smiley face. This is very good. Can we please trade? Because I don't want to have to kill you. Um... Yeah, okay, it's fine. We'll just... I don't want to trade with you because that's not very sort of enticing. Uh, no, it's fine, but uh, the trader will leave if you exit now. Yeah, at least we didn't have to... Uh, I think, uh, at least you didn't kill me. <laughs> absolutely, Deborah, absolutely. We're lovers, not fighters. I mean, except for the church, because yeah, we want them to sort of go away a bit. So we tend to fight them sometimes. I've just noticed that we didn't repair the door. The shelter door is still lying on the floor. That's possibly a little bit of a problem because we are somewhat undefended. Hang on, Barbara, you love repairing things. Please go and fix the door. <laughs> oh dear, there you go. You lift that up and, oh, just sort of lift it back up right there. Okay, that easy, is it? Right, Ronald has leveled up again. He's doing very well. Fortitude this time. Um. Okay, okay. What can Ronald have in fortitude? Um. I don't quite know what the best thing is for him. Um, how about, yeah, that? Less likely to be dazed. Other people have got that, so Ronald can have that as well. That seems like a very handy thing to have. And it looks like we are very close to our destination, which is very good. Right, hang on. Um, yeah, go and repair the bed and then sleep in it. And then Ronald. Uh, oh, you, you really need the loo, Ronald. You really need the loo. Okay, repair the toilet, then use it, then repair the bed, and then sleep in it. There we go. Right, so a little sort of list of jobs for you all. And I think our people are there. We have arrived. Okay, so they've encountered members of a faction, but are we fighting with the others now? This is intriguing. Okay, so are the New Order people, whatever they're called, there as well? Okay, so they're saying, boo, we don't like you. They really hate us. Um, okay, attack outpost or defend outpost? We're going to attack the outpost, of course we are. So let's go and attack this outpost. Treacherous snake, we shall never fall to your despair. Okay, so, ah, right, there's there's three of them. 
and they look a bit fighty. Oh, and they're all going first. Oh, crikey, here we go. <laughs> this is how it all ends. Oh, he's countered. He countered and did a critical hit. We never get critical hits, and they've missed on the crush windpipe. Yeah, you see. Right, okay. Now, which one of them, which one of them took damage? Um, is it, which one is it? That one. I think that one's a bit damaged. So let's pick on you. Let's pick on you. So this is Will. So Will and his stabby knife. If we could get them in the head, that'll be tremendous. Um, let's go for this. Let's go. I think you can have two goes as well. So, right, attempt to stabby. And, okay, they're dazed. That's good. Focus on you then. And let's attack you. Hopefully we can daze you as well. This is wonderful stuff. Right, those two are kind of out. So you over here. Let's attack. Um, oh, hang on. That's Chris. Oh, we can't get them at the back, can we? Because he's at the back row. Okay, Betty might have to deal with them. Um, okay, let's just pick on the guy that's right in front of him then. Um, let's go. Yeah, there you go. Just do that. And boom. Right, so one of them is down already, <laughs> which is amazing. Um, can use a skill. No, just end your turn. Right, Betty. Person at the back. Right, can you use your aimed gunshot? Can make a gunshot with 15% increased accuracy. Okay, right, shooty, shooty. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. Betty, well done. And you can have a single shot. Oh my goodness me, Betty. I mean, she's still very angry. She still really doesn't like the church, what they did. Um, okay, right, there we go. And our last go here. But yeah, I think if we... Oh, we can't get to the person at the back. That's very unfortunate. If we just have a go... What have they got? Poison Punch, Flick, Sand. I mean, they're, they're sort of down anyway. Let's just go and melee them in the head. Can we hit them? We've missed. We've missed somebody who is dazed. Okay, right. Try again. And it's a critical hit. This is going fabulous. Well, they're bleeding. <laughs> they're going to run away, are they? Oh, dear. Okay, right. Can we get to them now? Uh, yeah. Okay, Will. And a critical hit. They're very, very unwell. They're, they're really poorly. They, they could do the sit down in a nice comfy chair and a cup of tea. Right. Will can't do anything else. And Chris, I mean, this, it feels a little bit one-sided all of a sudden. There you go. Boom. Dead. Right. They really, really absolutely hate us. Oh. Oh, look at the amount of stuff they've got. <gasps> water. Precious, precious water. Lovely coal that we can trade. Some soap. Oh, that's quite nice. We can all have a nice wash. Springs. We've got hinges. That's good. Oh, there's so much stuff. Yeah. Take all of that stuff, please. Yes, absolutely. Um... Okay, right, so victory, hooray. And what happens here? They really despise us now, but we kind of knew that anyway. So what happens here? Thanks to your assistance, the New Order has managed to successfully claim the region belonging to the Church of Hope, the New Order reputation, plus 50. Okay, hang on, but we've never met them before. I assume we have now met them? No. <laughs> so we're kind of on good terms with them, but we don't know who they are. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? That's a kind of an oddity of the game. Because, yeah, we're sort of stood now in their place. Ooh, what's that? Oh, there's like a little town thing down here. There's one of those things, a little sort of township, but down here somewhere. Okay, we might have to come back and do that. Right, change route. Let's go over to there and let's do some hunting over there. And let's see what happens. I'm not sure how that works. So, okay, right. There we go. Everyone go and do some hunting, please. Ronald has fixed the good toilet. Well done, Ronald. Good job. Right, okay. So let's move time on and see how the whole hunting thing works. <clears throat> or let's not, because we've encountered members of a faction. However, I imagine this is going to be the new order. Because we have just happened across them. There we go. Encounter in snow. Um... This territory is controlled by the New Order. Yeah, I know. I know. We literally just helped you claim this. Don't give us big sad face. Um, this area is classified, so you're currently trespassing. We suggest you leave now before you have to resort to violence, which we'd like to avoid. Yes, us too. Okay, who are you? The New Order is the only faction capable of restoring the world back to its former glory. Uh, yeah, beg to differ. We've got tea. Our president works tirelessly to fight off all the enemies of our glorious faction. Praise the president. Yep, okay. Um... Okay, work together. We have found alliances to be beneficial with other groups. If you're willing to take on jobs... Okay, right, so talk to them on the radio. Okay, and we'll walk away. We don't need to fight, you guys. We have no interest in fighting. Oh, hang on a minute. We're down to two water. Yeah, we uh, 
we could do with a spot of rain sort of immediately kind of right now. Hopefully these two can have a very long sleep. Oh no. And Barbara, Barbara is getting particularly whiffy. So Barbara might possibly need a shower. If you can hold on until it rains. Oh no. <laughs> and the rice is dying. Okay, right, hang on. Expedition party. Members of a faction. I thought we all had the skill where the factions aren't going to be bothering us. Encounter in forest. Um, hang on. But what faction are you? I'm not much for small talk. Hang on, are you just a normal person? I just want to run away, please. Can we just flee? I don't want to fight you. Can we just escape? And hooray, we've run away. Well, what faction were they from? Okay, so hang on, hang on. I'm, now I'm a bit confused. So can we now go hunting? How does the whole hunting thing work? I don't know. Change route and hunt. G confirm. Go hunting, please. And now there's radio contact. Members of a faction. What faction? I'm very confused because we control that of forest, don't we? <laughs> Who are you? Um, you're not from the church? No, absolutely not. There it is. Um, okay, can we can we trade with you? Because that'd be nice. Yay, she's willing to trade. Um, nothing really very exciting. Do you know what? That's fine. But now can we carry on hunting, please? Can we carry on doing that? Because that'd be great. We should have traded something small, shouldn't we? And here we go. Right, they are now hunting. Okay, so what does that mean? So they're just going to... Oh, hang on. Let's move time on. That might help. Is that going to sort of fill up? The sort of the edge of that going to fill up to show how far they've got with the hunting? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ronald's gone and had a shower. Ronald. That's possibly the last of our water. Um. Okay. Okay. This this could be a problem. Um. Yeah. Okay, right. Barbara is particularly smelly. We need the rain to come down really early in the morning. <laughs> That'd be really handy because Barbara, Barbara is um is is a bit smelly right now and she can't have a shower because we have finally run out of water. It was always going to happen, wasn't it? Right. So no water. There. Th Hang on. How is how's Barbara having a shower? How's how's that happening? How did she manage that? Some sort of magic just happened there. Um, yeah, we really need the rain. So we've got rain today, then a sandstorm, and then black rain. Okay. Not ideal, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Now, how are we doing with this hunting? What happens? That fills up. It ticks round. They finished hunting. Okay. Collect rewards. What do we get? Oh, crikey. <gasps> it's two-star meat. Okay, can we take all of that? Yes, we can. We've got some two-star meat coming back. That means we can make fancy food stuffs. Um, okay, right. Change route. All you lot come home, please. You've done very well. You've done very, very well. And we've done a spot of hunting, which we've never done before. So good job, everybody. Right, get back home safely, please. And let's not forget to collect all those lovely, lovely items from the recycler. So yes, please, we will have all of those. That's very good. Right now, what were we looking for again? I cannot recall. So tier three, one of those toilets. Right, so four hinges. I mean, that's going to take a while to craft. So OK, right, Barbara, go and get four hinges sorted, please. Um, yeah, we have got plenty of the shavings now, which is very good. So there you go. Go and get that bit done. At least that's a start, I guess. Or just go and lift some weights. You know, whatever you want to do, it's fine, Barbara. You just go and you know, lift some heavy stuff. Very impressive. Okay, now this is a bit of a problem. So everybody is coming home, which is wonderful. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is excellent news. Uh, you come back victorious, which is really, really good. Um, however, oh, okay. Two backpacks broke. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We can sort that. So take everything. That's all very good. Yay, great stuff. Right, hang on, hang on. Pause time for a second. So we now have six people in the bunker and no water at all. There is utterly nothing. Not a drop. We've got no tea. I'm very, very sorry. I mean, the rice up there is dying. That's going to be dead soon, unless it rains very, very soon. We do need the rain to come down pretty quickly. But OK, right, there we go. I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now. Everybody's got back home nice and safe. We've helped out another faction, which is very, very good. Hang on, let's go and have a look at them now. So the New Order, there we go. Look, so we have 50 reputation with them already. We've not really bumped into them much. That's pretty good. So we need to try and get on their good side. Hopefully the church can just clear off. Um, and then, yeah, Los Muertos, we possibly could do with having a chat with them at some point. Have you got a job that is just give you some stuff? rare item we could possibly go and do that because i think we need to send people back out again in order to sort of preserve water so we might possibly take that job on next time and then maybe as well maybe do a job for them oh 
Oh, hang on. Let's do that right now. Circuit boards and bulbs. Yeah, okay. Continue. Yep, yeah, okay. Collection team. Yes, they can come round. That's just a free mission done right there and then, which is wonderful. Okay, so yeah, we'll finish up. But yeah, I'm very happy that we um that we helped them out a bit. That's very good. So yeah, the church are now significantly weaker, although they're still around. They are still around. They haven't been vanquished quite yet, but there we go. Never mind. So we'll come back next time. We'll do lots and lots of recycling and we shall hope that it rains very, very soon because it's supposed to rain today and it's four o'clock and it hasn't rained yet. So hopefully the heavens will open and everything will be all lovely. And there'll be lots of rain and we can have lots of tea and it'll all be fine. But uh, but yeah, we'll see if that happens next time and we shall finish up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Sheltered 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. The City of Cupboard. It can be full of geeks, very loyal geeks to me. It's this sort of stripy hill. That's interesting. Oh, stripy mountain. Sorry, I, I downgraded you to a hill. It didn't really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire.